pulled a couple messages from the person on your mind and I got, I wish to be like you. I can't stop thinking about you. And I don't know where to start. I pulled from the traditional tarot and I got that this person is really overthinking things about an empress, about someone that they really admire. And I think it's because they can see that everybody else admires you too. This person knows how heads turn every time you walk by, and this has them all up in their head. You seem to exude this, this quiet confidence. There's something about you, about your aura that makes you very beautiful. And this person sees you as a true and equal partner here with the two of cups showing up. They feel like this could be a connection that could be very healing for you both, and they really admire you. This, this seems like probably a secret admirer. I'm not really sure that you know exactly who this person is. They do see you as a potential partner though. The two of cups indicates potentially a new partnership with you and they're coming in quite slowly. And I think it's because they're just really, really nervous about approaching you, but they are going to be offering you something, probably something tangible here. This could be as simple as offering you flowers. They want to make some kind of show of their admiration for you. Seem incredibly independent here with the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is that single, happy, and thriving card. This is someone that they know who they are. They know what they're worth. They feel abundant in their own energy. They're really good in their own energy. And they kind of see this energy in you. And they feel a bit intimidated by it. <laughs> and that's making this a very difficult decision about how to approach you, when to approach you. They're really kind of overthinking things. They just want to make sure that when they do come forward, that they are impressing you. And with the six of wands coming out as a challenge card here, I think this person is really worried about being successful in their approach of you. Like they are really just overly concerned about rejection here. I kind of want to find out more about who this person is and why they are so scared of rejection, why they are so scared to, to go ahead and come forward and make this offer of their admiration for you. I also want to know their truest intentions for this relationship, as well as the highest possible outcome for this new relationship. Before we get to the full reading, I do have this special card for you, and that's the subscribe card. Please subscribe for more readings like this. Oh boy, again, we're getting two of swords. This person is having a tough, tough time making a decision about coming forward. I think this is even keeping them up at night. Like they are really overthinking this. And I feel like this has been ever since they've met you. They're feeling just really unsure about themselves. And this insecurity, I think, is coming from a major devastating loss here with both the death card and three of swords coming up and trying to identify who this person is. They quite literally might be a widow or widower. They might have had and lost a loved one, um, but they've really been through quite the transformation due to heartbreak. When we see the Three of Swords here, this is like the energy of lying on the bathroom floor, crying, sobbing, so upset. They've lost a piece of themselves. But I think when they see you, they just see a whole lot of hope, a whole lot of wish fulfillment here with the Nine of Cups indicating that really they feel like you're really a confident person. And I think naturally they are too, right? This kind of mirrors that, that Nine of Pentacles energy, Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, when you combine them, this is the energy of just true independence, like someone who's able to stand on their own two feet, as well as someone who's very emotionally independent emotionally self-sufficient. They don't have to turn to other people for validation so much. They're, they're happy within themselves. And I think they're naturally kind of like that. It's just that they've been through something really tough and that's what's creating this, this hesitation in coming forward. And they see you as someone like that too. They also see you as someone that's like absolute wish fulfillment. Like they've been asking the universe for someone like you and here you are to their amazement. Interesting that we get the six of wands again. So this is someone that is usually used to really being successful, really going after what they want, achieving what they desire and coming out on top. And I think they see you kind of like that too. I think they see you potentially as like power couple material here with the six of wands, because this is a card of victory. Now they really are coming forward. They, they've had this period of just sort of indecision, thinking about things, but they are going to be rushing forward with some kind of message for you, kind of indicating exactly what they're desiring here, what their truest intentions are. This didn't tell us a whole, whole lot about this person, so I am going to pull a few charms.
So let's see what we get here. All right. So right off the bat, a few indicators. So we did get the number eight. So the number eight might be significant to this person. We did get love. I do feel like this is a very loving person. I'm getting a fairly positive energy here. We did get a dancer. So maybe dance or the arts is significant to this person. We also got a couple of religious icons. Like I feel like this is a very spiritual person. All right, let's see what else. Ooh, all right, we got some initials this time. That's good. All right, so to help you sort of recognize this person, we do have G, we have Y, we have H, we have I, we have L. Um, so we have kind of a few initials here that might play into their name. We also have some symbols. This might be someone who does have children since we have a child here. Um, we also have, let's see... We've got sort of this whale <laughs> as well as a bee. So maybe something to do with animals here. More indications of just a very loving nature. We do have the number six. So the number six could be significant. Of course, uh, that Christmas tree likes to come out for us. I don't know what that is. And then, of course, we have a moon and a star. So maybe they're very just spiritually aligned. Another indication of children. So I really do think this might be someone with kids feeling like their intentions are pretty positive here where we with the ace of cups this is the cup of new love being offered this is a cup of unconditional love and we've got the queen of wands showing up here too i think this is a love that they've been kind of manifesting themselves they are someone who knows what they want they go after what they want this is feminine fire sign energy so aries leo or sagittarius could be significant here but i do feel like this is someone who really wants to come forward with a true love offer who really does want to see love blossom between the two of you so this feels like a fairly positive intention so far I do think they're hoping that coming forward, making this decision to come forward, making this decision to really kind of express how they're feeling and maybe ask you out, offer you a small gift of some kind, as we already saw, that this is going to be a very healing decision for them. It's going to really allow them to finally put the past behind them. I do feel like this loss that they've been through, it's been a bit of time, like it's not like super, super recent, but it's... It's recent enough that they're still he healing from it and that they know that that's what's delaying them from taking action the fact that they've been through some really devastating loss here interesting that we're getting three of swords yet again except this time in the reverse indicating healing from that past heartbreak i do think they're going to kind of start this off a little bit on the slow side they're not going to like super rush into this we have nine of cups Nine of Cups to me says they need emotional independence. They are fairly emotionally independent. They also see you as emotionally independent. We already got this card in a different deck. So emotional independence is very important to this person. That both of you kind of have your own things going on, that nobody's acting like super codependent on the other, depending on the others for their emotional needs, their emotional validation. Also, they see you as wish fulfillment and they want to be wish fulfillment for you as well. So I think it's both of these things with the nine of cups showing up twice here. Likely this is going to start off like a friendship here with three of cups. Three of cups is the energy of like soul family, like really just celebrating, having a good time, having a lot of fun together. And then they kind of just want to see, does this end up getting very passionate? Does this become a passionate new beginning? Is there that special spark there between the two of you? So this feels fairly well-intentioned to me. Like this new partnership feels like a lot of fun to me. Like that's really all they're after. So I feel like for the outcome of this relationship, it is very, very positive here. I feel like it's very spiritually aligned with the high priestess showing up here. This is all about divine connection, spiritual alignment, and it's very balanced here as well. This is a relationship where I think the two of you really balance each other out. You provide balancing energies to one another. There's a good balance between like, the the nitty gritty of a relationship and just having fun together there's a lot of forward momentum too that i think both of you have been really needing in your life with the hanged man in reverse here we're able to get kind of a new perspective on things we're able to kind of move forward in a new direction while you might have felt kind of like lost and in the void now i think this person definitely has been feeling like that um but basically, I think this turns into kind of like a mutual admiration society very quickly, right? It becomes a very true and equal partnership 
really quickly. It's like this breath of fresh air has come in and like really kind of moved you in a new place, in a new momentum. They spent a lot of time overthinking this just because of their background and, and the loss that they've experienced, as well as just to kind of see how everyone admires you because you are financially independent, because you are emotionally independent, because you just kind of seem to have it all together. But I think you're going to see a lot of those same qualities in them too. You're going to kind of reflect this back to one another, kind of like we see in this card, this sort of reflective type imagery but basically this is somewhat something where the two of you are just going to see each other as like really fun and good and interesting people who really seem to have it all together the two of you are going to just go out and have a lot of fun together and they see how much others admire you they admire you the same way the timing just feels really right for the both of you with the wheel of fortune showing up here i feel like this is being brought in as like a gift for both of you from the universe like you've been really kind of wanting someone to come forward someone to come in and you know some kind of new love new chance on love and they have too this is really something about like basically the wheel is going in your favor you know I think we're up here at the top of the wheel right now so this is just good timing now I do think with the moon reversed here this is something that is going to reveal itself to you just how good the timing is how everything has kind of fallen into place for a reason here I feel like that's what the moon reverse is sort of revealing to you that is revealing that really it's like wow I can't believe I've been through what I've been through it kind of all led me to this moment right now now, you don't get a much better outcome than Ten of Cups here. <laughs> Ten of Cups is, uh, for a potential highest outcome to this relationship, this is domestic bliss. This can be marriage. This can be home. This can be family. Like the two of you just have a whole lot of potential to be very comfortable and happy together. I hope this reading was helpful for you. If it was, please do like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. That is a huge help to this channel's growth. I do also hope that you'll stick around for this reading right here. And thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here with me today. And I'll see you next time.